Our next story is about bees. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when I mention them? Honey, bee stings, their buzzing sound. What about the weather? New research suggests that bees can have an impact on the weather because their wings can generate tremendous amounts of electricity. Our next report getting you the details. When you think of electricity in the air, it's common to imagine violent storm clouds. But what if we told you that a swarm of bees can generate eight times that amount of electricity? Hard to believe? Well, UK-based researchers have found that bees and other insects generate shocking amounts of electricity. The amount can potentially affect the weather. How is that possible? First, let's talk about the physics. Bees can flap their wings more than 230 times a second. This causes friction between their wings and air molecules. The friction generates static electricity. Have you ever been shocked while touching a doorknob after rubbing your socks on a carpet? It's the same concept. The friction causes electrons to move between atoms, positively charging one and negatively charging the other. The differently charged atoms then attract each other. When electrons move again, we get electricity. So are bees always charged? Yes, it helps pollen stick to their bodies. Can bees shock you? Not exactly. They're too small to transfer a noticeable amount of electric shock. So how can they affect the weather? Well, bees fly in swarms. Thousands of bees flying together could make changes to the electric field in our atmosphere. The researchers wanted to test this theory. They placed an electric field monitor and a camera near the honeybee hives. The results were shocking. Atmospheric electric gradient is the amount of charge already present in the air and typically on a clear day, it's a little more than 100 volts per meter. Researchers saw the gradient increase to 1000 volts per meter after some honeybee swarms took flight. That's about eight times greater than a storm cloud. Using this data, scientists made models for other insects like butterflies and locusts. A swarm of locusts can be massive. Tens of millions of locusts can be packed together in less than a square kilometer. The model predicts that a locust swarm could generate electrical charges similar to the worst thunderstorms. So are insects causing thunderstorms? Scientists say that is unlikely. But they could have other effects. The insects could ionize dust particles. These charged particles may move in unpredictable ways. Because dust can block out sunlight, it may affect an area's weather. The new findings may help solve some climate mysteries. Like why large dust particles are found far away from deserts. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.